it started off with a bang. Unfortunately, it started and ended with a thud for the 72 car, a collision between the 33 Team GT machine and Nick Boss's 72 Optimum Motorsport car to retirement for the McLaren team. Meanwhile, the Lamborghinis of Oregon team were in a scrap with the Audis. Into second place overall came the number three car of uh, Max Hofer in the early stages, who was really pressing on. Uh, Frank Bird, meanwhile, was uh, moving up the field as well in that Haupt Racing Team Mercedes, although that move would be judged to be illegal, ultimately. Max Hofer finding Stanislav uh, Jedlinski at a poor moment there. That led to a penalty for the number three car, and a big moment there as well. Bamba just lost the rear of the Porsche and sent both he and Adam Christodoulou into a spin, sending Christodoulou into early race retirement. Giardoni and Van Berlo continued on uh, in what was second on the road, but with a penalty, they would unfortunately eventually be put down to third. A late safety car for the 39 car again in the gravel, this time in the hands of P.T. Biron Bakhti. Jordan Love, as racing resumed after the final safety car, found himself right in amongst it with the Oregon team cars side by side with Glenn Van Berlo. But Van Berlo was still there on the inside. And with authority, Van Berlo held on to second place. No one, though, could best Leonardo Polcini today. He and Benji Pitez claim the win and the championship lead in the endurance race at Spa.